Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you brought your sunglasses for today's video because we got a lot of gold here with this guy. So it's been quite a while since I've checked out one of these SD kits here from the Gundam World Heroes uh, line of these uh, kind of Sengoku Den style SD kits here. And so yeah, as you guys may know, SD kits in general are not really quite that appealing to me, especially this style of them. It's not really my thing, but they're pretty cool. I mean, I do like to check them out from time to time, and this one looked like it was gonna be a pretty fun one. So this is the SDW Heroes Superior Strike F Dragon. So yeah, it's got quite the name, and I mean, as you can tell, quite a bunch of gold there for this release. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, let's just take a moment to admire how really great this box art is on this. I mean, despite how I feel about these designs subjectively, how normally these designs aren't really necessarily to my taste. I mean, that is some pretty awesome box art here for this one. All the gold and like the red accents and everything in there look really awesome for this one. We're on here to the size of the box. This looks like it's gonna be number 30 in the line. And here on the bottom, I look at the painted sample version of that. There's a, just a lot of shiny gold on there. The tail can move. It says the iconic shape of the parts of the back have been intricately recreated. So it's got all those backpack parts going on. A stand, is it including a stand? I'm not sure, I believe probably so though. We got some clear red hands here for some kind of effect on that as well. And then on the other side, a little advertisement here for the 31st kit in the line, which would be the Alternative Justice Infinite Dragon, which is kind of, I guess, kind of the alternate sister suit Gundam to this, sort of. Let's go ahead and get this popped open and check out that gold. Now, it is not going to be plated gold by any means. It is going to all just be molded gold, which I know a lot of people have, you know, their mixed feelings about, which is fine, but I think for design like this, I think it's gonna still look pretty good. We'll find out in just a second when we take a look at those runners. Let's first just take a look here at the manual. We've got that same box art there at the top. On the bottom, an illustration of that, which is looking even more shiny and very super detailed there. You got some information over here in Japanese and in English, just a couple of sentences there. Not really too much around here on the back side. It's more of what we saw on the outside of the box. Just based on the images that I'm seeing of this, it doesn't look like it can really do a whole lot. So it's going to be a kit that kind of goes together and looks really amazing as it is, but don't really expect it to do much in terms of articulation and accessories, anything like that, just because it looks like it's going to be kind of limited. On the inside here, a short comic segment here, which is in full color, which is quite cool. Again, if you guys are fans of this particular style, but there it is. I mean, that's a really cool illustration. I wouldn't mind having that as like in like a larger form to have as like a poster or something on the wall. That'd be pretty awesome, I think. The inside of the manual is just gonna be all in black and white. You got your parts list right here. And then the construction is gonna be obviously pretty simple with it being an SD kit. So you just kind of put together each of the sections and then put it all together. And then we also have the backpack, which is gonna go there on the back and that's it. All right, so with this being an SD kit, unfortunately we do have a pretty large sticker sheet here for this, which is going to give us a lot of uh, color correction on the kit. You really don't like to see that, but it's not too surprising. Getting into the runners then, the A runner is going to be just basically our basic frame of the Gundam. And then runner B is going to be some more of the armor. Now here you can see some of that really great detail around on the design. And this is in a kind of very orangey kind of gold color, uh, but I gotta say it does look really quite nice. All the details and everything in there mean that you're really not gonna see some of the defects that you normally get from like a molded gold with it having like the swirls and the plastic and things like that. But moving on then to runner C, which is gonna be in a clear yellow. The runners D1 and D2 are gonna be doubled except for the part right over here and these parts up here. That that part being your big V-fin part. And I wanna show you that the color of this molded gold is a much darker one compared to the one we saw before. So you're gonna have two different tones of gold here for the main coloring of the Gundam. Last but not least then, runner E is going to be some parts here in clear red, which do look really quite nice as well. So let's go ahead and get this guy built up and we'll see how it looks. Okay guys, and here he is all built up. Obviously with it being an SD kit, it doesn't take a whole lot of time to get this kit put together. And the fact that the kit doesn't really have a whole lot of accessories, basically you just get the kit. You get a couple of like option parts that you can use, but otherwise it doesn't have any other like weapons or you know shield, accessories, things like that that goes with this. There is quite a bit of time that goes into this build, which is just to, for putting on the stickers. Cause you know, with it being an SD kit and especially with it being one of these very ornamental ones, there's a lot of stickers on there, especially on the front side. You 
you won't notice too much on the back. But on the front, there's a lot of the stickers that fit around all these little intricate detail details and everything. And I would highly recommend using a toothpick for that. It's a very helpful tool. But anyway, it took quite a while just to put all the little stickers and everything on there, which of course is not required. If you do just want to snap build it just straight out of the box, and you want it to look its best using those stickers and then probably a combination of other techniques, which we'll talk about in a minute, would be the best way to go. So here is the extent of its accessories, which are these option hands for the Sun Originate hands, super heated hands that it has, whereas obviously the hands we have on there now are in molded gold and just regular holding hands. You don't have anything to hold, so those might as well have just been closed fists, but you can swap those out here for these glowing clear red hands. And that's it, but we do also have a couple of option parts here. Now you are gonna wanna hang on to these. If you're planning on getting the alternative Alternative Justice Infinite Dragon kit because these can be used in combination with that kit. Otherwise, you do also have a couple of leftover parts that are just not going to be used for anything, but just a heads up on those. Those are some clear yellow parts. But yeah, otherwise, just a bunch of stickers on there, basically anywhere where there's the secondary or multiple tones of gold there right next to each other is where you have stickers on there. A lot of the red that you're seeing on here is obviously stickers. There's clear red for the feet and the back skirt there are your clear red parts. This one up here on the head is also a clear red part, which you can see some of. Part of that is covered up here by this sticker. That's just to add that gold detail there in the center but yeah especially right here on the front skirt there was just a lot of stickers that go in and around here to make that whole effect and it looks cool but it definitely takes some work to get those stickers worked into place i mean i did my best on that but yeah there's going to be a lot of stickers there not sure why the arms are in clear yellow i would have preferred if those were just gold like the rest of the kit to be honest but the articulation on this is going to be generally the same as most sd type stuff you have a little bit of movement up there at the head at the waist you don't have any kind of joint in the elbow or in the knee basically just where the limb connects into the body is just on a ball joint you can kind of move that around a little bit but as you can see with this one there's not really a whole lot of space for that to move anywhere you do have a little bit of movement of this part up here which is connected at the top and these cool kind of dragon head kind of details there on the shoulders are nice the wrist is on a ball joint the feet are on ball joints but those as well there's not really too much room for those to move around anywhere ultimately the skirt armor the which is like this whole front piece like everything that you can see here at the front is all one big chunk of skirt armor which will move a little bit on a ball joint you do have side skirts which are connected right there those tiny little pieces and then like i said our back skirt is just all in clear red here the wings at the back have a ton of detail but no stickers or anything for those but those are just on ball joints as well so you can move them in and around and these are a little bit loose and they tend to be at least i'm noticing mine are kind of a little bit wobbly you have to make sure that they're kind of pressed on there really tightly to get them to stay in place and then the tail out at the back has two joints one at the base and then one in the middle there where you can kind of turn and adjust the angle of that if you wanted to have it like flying or something and if you do want to put this up on a base there is a connection point up underneath the waist there for plugging it onto an action base and obviously the kit doesn't weigh a whole lot so shouldn't have any kind of weight issues with this but there you have it guys trying out a few different poses here with this guy I mean obviously with an SD kit they're not the most poseable kits as you saw there as we took a very brief look through the articulation of it you know it doesn't have a ton of articulation built in if you guys do want an SD kit that does have more articulation I would recommend checking out the SD cross silhouette line those are gonna be the best um, uh, SD kits I believe in terms of just the articulation that they have for doing multiple poses and things like that especially if you use the CS frame which is gives you like a little bit longer extended proportion slightly but as for these kits I feel like you know the the gimmick of them the main selling point for these is just going to be like the ornamental designs and just how interesting and intricate the kits look just based on those kind of in you know, the design schemes that they have for them and with this one the artwork of it you know is so cool with it being this just this like basically like a big mass of gold detail everywhere and the kit itself is a little bit underwhelming in that most of like the shine that you're get from the, getting from the gold that you see on the kit at the moment is just from the stickers as the molded gold is not all that shiny so what I would recommend you guys to do 
is to get out some gold paint and spray some gold shiny paint on this. And you know, considering that the majority of the kit is gold, you don't really necessarily have to do a whole bunch of masking. I would say, you know, spray everything in gold and then for the red accents, just use a uh, red enamel paint. And that way you can basically do just kind of like a, a reverse wash essentially. Paint in some of your red enamel and then you can just kind of clean it up around the edges uh, with a Q-tip, pretty easy to do. This would be a pretty easy one to get a really cool finish on. Now, if you wanted multiple golds, obviously it's gonna complicate things a little bit, but you know, assuming you just wanna go with like, one gold color it'd be a pretty easy one to do so that's my thoughts on the kit let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below a very cool one i gotta say just as long as that you you know you keep in mind what you're getting you're not getting a ton of accessories you're not getting a ton of articulation but you're getting a really cool little gold sd kit or you know a different color version if you go for one of the other options the silver one for example but that's it for today guys check the link in the video description to us gundam store where you can check out this kit and many of the others from the line if you also would like to like and or subscribe while you're here that would be greatly appreciated but until next time hope you guys are all having a great day see y'all later bye guys